We've already seen how to make these delicate and delicious tea cookies. Now it's time to make these crunchy butter cookies and the classic polvorones. Hi, I'm Carlos Salgado and this is the second part of this series dedicated to the delicious and addictive butter cookies, also known as tea cookies. For these butter cookies, I'm going to make a vanilla and a chocolate dough. For the vanilla dough you need 250 grams of flour, 60 grams of powdered sugar, 160 grams of cold butter, one yolk, one touch of vanilla essence. For the chocolate dough you need 225 grams of flour, 50 grams of cocoa powder, 65 grams of powdered sugar, 160 grams of cold butter, one yolk and one touch of rum. Keep the egg whites aside. Mix together all the powders and the cold butter in cubes. Mix with the bitter until getting a sand texture. Add the yolk with the vanilla. Integrate for about 10 to 15 seconds or until you get a compact dough. For the chocolate version, the steps are exactly the same. For other making options, please check out the pie dough tutorial, the section dedicated to short cross pastry. The link is in the description of this video. Once the doughs are ready, you can roll them out immediately. I'm going to roll them out on silicone mats because in that way it will be easier to take them to the fridge or the freezer. If you don't have silicone mats, you can use parchment paper. For the cookies filled with red fruit jam, you will only need one vanilla dough recipe. And of course, a jar of red fruit jam and powdered sugar. For the spiral and checkerboard cookies, you will need both one vanilla and one chocolate. For the jam filled cookies and the spiral ones, you are going to roll out the dough about 3 millimeters thick. For the checkerboard cookies, you will roll out the dough about 5 millimeters thick or a little more. Once rolled out, take them to the fridge for an hour or to the freezer for about 30 minutes. Preheat the oven to 170 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit. For the cookies filled with jam, cut some circles. You can use any size of cookie cutter. In this case, I use this about 4 cm or 2.5 inches diameter. Then cut a small circle in the center of half of the cookies. Put them on a tray and freeze them for about one hour. Then bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes at 170 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit. Remove them from the oven and let them cool off for about two hours. Then with the help of a pastry bag, place a little red fruit jam on the plain cookies and sprinkle the perforated ones with powdered sugar. Then place one of them on top of one that has jam and gently join. With the pastry bag, fix the jam in the center. For the spiral cookies, let the dough get a little soft. Then brush the vanilla dough with a little bit of egg whites. Overlap the chocolate dough and press lightly. Then with the vanilla dough cover the border of the chocolate dough and gently 
roll it up. Try to ensure that the dolls stick together without applying much pressure. If they break, just try to fix it with your hands. It's always better if the dolls are a little bit softer. Press lightly and freeze the cylinder for about two hours. Remove from the freezer and cut the cylinder in cookies about 5 mm thick. Bake them from 15 to 20 minutes at 170 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit. For the checkerboard cookies, brush one of the dolls with some egg white. In this case, I brush the chocolate one and overlap the vanilla dough. Press lightly. Freeze for about 20 minutes. Remove from the freezer and cut into four strips. Brush one of those strips with egg white and overlap another strip alternating colors and you get one block. Repeat the same with the other two strips. Freeze for another 20 minutes. Remove from the freezer and cut each block into three strips. Brush a strip and overlap another strip alternating the lines. Repeat one more time. It looks complicated but it's not. The secret is to alternate the colors and to keep the fringes straight. Press lightly and take to freeze for about 2 hours. Remove the blocks from the freezer and cut the cookies more than half a centimeter thick. Bake at 170 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Let them cool. Now let's make the classic Spanish shortbread polvorones. For these tea cookies you need 120 grams of almond flour, 500 grams of flour, 250 grams of lard, 200 grams of powdered sugar, zest of two lemons or limes, and one touch of almond essence. Preheat the oven at 200 Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit. With the beater, combine all the ingredients without needing too much. Roll out the dough 1 cm thick. Cut ovals about 3 to 4 cm long. Very carefully place them on a tray. Bake them at 200 Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. Do not let them get golden, otherwise they will be bitter. Remove them from the oven and let them cool off. Then you could wrap them in tissue paper. Here we have these little squares that we cut previously. Wrap them very carefully. And here you have a delicious assortment of tea cookies, perfect for tea times or a good gift. Before we finish, remember the following. The block and the cylinder of dough, as well as the cookies or pastries already cut, can be stored in the freezer for months. If you need to bake some, just cook them at the moment or simply place the already cut ones in the oven. These cookies, especially those ones filled with red fruit jam, 
must be carefully and hermetically packed, never in the fridge. This way they stay crispy for weeks. Now it's time to make them and enjoy them with family and friends, or making a good business with them. Thanks for joining me in this series dedicated to the classic tea cookies. Remember that this is just a small sample of the huge variety of the tea cookies. You can use the jams of your choice, combine essence with nuts, such as adding uh, almond essence to those that have almond. Even small shortbread cookies or Breton shortbread, as well as uh, small rolls of puff pastry with Nutella and apple are part of the variety of the tea cookies. So let your imagination fly. If you have leftover dough, you can make these marble cookies. They are very easy to prepare. Remember that all the videos have a version in English, Portuguese and Spanish. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like my content, please subscribe for more pastry lessons. Thanks for joining me and see you soon.